Hi, my name is Dylan and I'm the founder of Davino Digital. We specialize in website design and development. So in this video, I'm going to take you through our most recent website project launch, which is for a medical practice here based in Connecticut. This practice is called Integrative Healthcare Associates or IHA for short. So I'm just going to take you through each page of the website and kind of talk about the client and their special needs and requests. So starting out, we have a really clean navigation here. We have links to the home, uh, about us, community. We have an intake form, which I'll show you. And then we have services, contact, and then call to actions here over on the top right. As we scroll down, we have a hero section, which is pretty basic. It has a header, subheader, and then we have another call to action. We're clearly trying to get visitors to book an appointment. So as we scroll down, we have our kind of values right here, which are high quality care, collaborative services, and transparent costs. Typically right after the hero section, which is the top section of the website, we like to try to prove to the site visitors that we are a company that's trustworthy, transparent, and a company that you should believe in. As we scroll down, we have um, an intro paragraph about IHA, um, what led to IHA being born, and who are the owners of IHA as well. This is always good to have near the top of the site. You want the customers to know what your business is all about and how you got started. As we scroll down, we have a services section here. So I'll show you the actual services page soon, so I won't bother uh, clicking any of these links right now. And then at the bottom here, we have a call to action and a testimonial section. So the call to action is very bright and prominent. As you can see, we're using the red in the logo. And we have the book and appointment button is the center of attention. And once we get to the bottom of the site, we can see testimonials. Uh, we have a great photo of the medical practitioners here, as well as a testimonial from happy patients. And lastly, we have a contact form with clickable phone number and email. It's always important to have clickable phone numbers and emails as opposed to ones that aren't clickable because when you're on a phone, you want to be able to click the button and be able to call the person rather than having to type in one by one the person's phone number. You're going to lose a lot of potential clients that way. So it's important to make your call to actions clickable and your phone numbers clickable. Okay, and at the bottom of the site here, we have a footer. Footers are very standard. You just want to have links to every page on the site as well as the logo. And then classically, the company that builds the website also takes a little bit of credit. Okay, next up, we'll go to the About Us page. So on this page, we just have their slogan right here, promoting a healthier tomorrow today. This is a picture of their office, a very nice office they have here in Connecticut. And then as we scroll down, these are the two practitioners in charge of IHA. So Dr. Jose Latour and Dr. Luis Rojas. You could see their stories and you could learn more about them here. And then right below that section, you could see we talk about their mission and talk about their values a little more. And then as we get to the bottom here, we have another call to action with the form. So next up, I'll go over to the community page. This community page just pretty much has a flyer that they've built that talks about all of their values. IHA really specifically focuses on the Latino community because they feel like the Latino community is underserved in the area. And so they talk a lot about that on their website. And they're also very involved in the community and it's really important for customers to know that you're involved in the community and you should be showing pictures of that on your website as well as talking about that. So also under the drop down of company, you will see that we have a patient intake form. This is just a PDF with a lot of things to fill out. You've probably filled one of these out before if you were ever getting your physical. Um, just basically an intake form for patients to fill out and print. Next up, I'll go to the services page and scroll down. So we have a basic introduction to their services right here. Um, you know, why should you go to IHA? And then what do you specialize in? Uh, is all listed out right here. Now, one thing to note here for IHA and really anybody that wants to expand their website is you could make whole pages for each of these services, although that would be a much larger project and it would be, you know, a lot more content to fill out as well, but it would have a lot of benefits too. So the services page is really just all about showing the services that they specialize in and what you could expect by going to IHA. Now below that section, we also have a list of their insurance providers that are accepted. And then at the bottom of the page, we always end with our call to action and our form because 
it's very important for the customer to know what the objective is of being on the site. Next up, we have our contact page. This is a very simple page with links to the email and phone number, and then another submittable form. And lastly, if you click book now, we actually have, um, we have different links to their patient portal. So if you're a medical practice, a lot of the time you wanna have some sort of online directory for patients to be able to log in and get different files that they need or to be able to book their appointments and get information like that. So we have two individual links for each of the medical practitioners patient portal, which you can see right here. So I'll just click this one and then you could see the times that they're available throughout the day and you could easily click one of these and book a time. So that about wraps up my medical website case study for IHA. If you want to go check out the website yourself, go to IHAWeCare.com and also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to learn more about web design and what we do here at Davino Digital. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.